This is the happiest I have been in a very long time. I don't know if you can hear that, but uh... Woo! The M5 is back, baby, let's go. It has been a long six months without this car. I don't know how I continued making content. It was literally just reused videos of the M5 since, uh, or from last year. But we have the car back now, finally. I've had it for like two days. This is the first long drive I've had in it. Let's see how today goes. Should be fine. We got a nice little sunset. Is that a wrap? No, that's literally just a rusty Honda. Love to see it. Look at this water. So nice. But the motto for this year, less repairs, less speeding tickets. Last year was the roughest year I've had with this car. Uh, broke down three times on the highway, which means I got the car towed three times. Uh, power steering went, SMG pump, the transmission pump, went two times. So, couple grand in repairs last year. It's the way it goes. This year, so far, great start. I mean, from the shop, back to my house, back to school up here, it's about a three hour drive. All went smoothly, and then today is the first real full day I've had the car. So we're gonna take it out today, make sure everything is good, and we should be fine. I'm gonna give you guys a full walk around, update of what the car looks like, what the state of the car is, and kind of what the plans are. Should be a good time. So again, if you know this channel, you know that this is an M5 E60. Let me know in the comments right now what mod do you want me to put on the car next. You want to check out what I've done, check out this video right here, or I have a mod list in the description you can check out. <sighs> Wheels is always an option. It's just hella expensive, and uh, I don't know if we're in a state to uh, afford that right now, but put it down if you want that mod next. Look at these houses, man. God damn. So nice. One day, one day, we'll get there. YouTube money starts coming in. We're at like 560 something subs right now. Appreciate every one of you, by the way. Uh, once we hit 1,000 and 4,000 hours of watch time is when the channel gets monetized and uh, I can actually start to get some ad revenue, which would be great because if you're watching this video, you probably saw an ad before this. I don't get paid for that. It's ridiculous. All right, let's get a walk around on this car. Look at this scenery, first of all. It's pretty insane. Right by the water, so damn nice. Look at the car. This camera sucks at filming at night, Jesus. Here's a look at the front. I currently am not running a front plate, which is technically, I mean, we got it in the, the light, or in the window up there. It's technically, I don't know if it's legal. I've gotten questions about it from officers here in Ontario, Canada. We have to run a front plate. Uh, it's unfortunate because I think it ruins the look of the car like entirely. So I keep it in the window. I do have a bracket in case uh, I do need to stick it on the front. Uh, it just kind of comes with living here and, uh, and being a car guy in Ontario. It's always tough, but that's just the way it is, unfortunately. Here's a look at the back of the car right now. So like I told you guys, we do have the axle back exhaust job, which I'm a huge fan of. Unfortunately, I know you can't really see it right now, but the tips did rust a bit over the winter. So that's something we're gonna have to fix. In the meantime though, uh, as you heard with the revs, it does sound pretty nice. Come on, autofocus, don't do me like that. It does sound really nice. Uh, if you wanna see a video of that exhaust job, check it out right up here. This car is gonna be at all kinds of meets this summer. I can't wait to see you guys there. I'm hosting one for my clothing brand, Apparel by Enemy. It's basically like a car clothing company, JDM, all that good stuff. And uh, the M5 and I will be out at all kinds of meets. Uh, check us out if you see me there. If you ever see me, you know, driving on the road or anything, send me a DM on Insta, tell me you spotted me, all that good stuff. Happy to stop and say hi. We're also rocking a new wheel setup this year. I used to run 20 millimeter spacers on the back and 15 millimeter spacers on the front. And I used to not be able to even fit a finger in there. But as you can see right now, we have tons of room and the fitment is still super nice. What I'm running now is no spacers in the front because when the wheels turn, I need that space, obviously. And I have the fenders rolled on the front and back. So we used to have 15s, nothing in the front. Now we're running the 15s in the back and still super good fitment, you know, some room for speed bumps and the shitty Canada roads, but no 20s at all. I took those off because it was just too much, you know? I would have like four people in the car and at that point it would rub if I drove anywhere. And it's a five-seater, so you know, I wanna be able to have people in the car, my friends and stuff. 
I used to tell people as a joke, I drive a, a five-seater BMW that can seat two because it's so low and it was so wide that it would always just rub. All right, what I'm gonna do for you guys now is give you guys a couple drive by Oh, shit, Jesus Christ, it's windy. I'm gonna give you guys a couple flybys in the car just right here so you can see what the exhaust sounds like from the outside. Windy. Now, it wouldn't be an M5 E60 video if I didn't give you a little clip of some accelerations with the axle back exhaust. Let's get the windows down here. Downshift to second and. No speeding tickets this year. No speeding tickets. We're good though. We're good. All right, windows down, first gear. In the second. In the third. And the fourth, and traffic, ridiculous. Another one of my favorite features about this car is the heads up display. Even with the rev meter, look at that. For 2006, pretty advanced stuff. You don't even see that in cars today. I mean, with the, the RPMs up there, it's pretty nice. I don't know if the new M's have it. I should know, I used to work at BMW in sales, but I mean, it's a pretty nice heads up display. Look at that. Beautiful, gorgeous. The car sounds amazing, sounds brand new. It's it's approaching 20 years old. In uh, four years, this car will be 20, which is insane, because it does not look or drive like a 20-year-old car. That being said, I don't know if you can see that down there, we have 221,000 kilometers on the car, which is, you know, for a V10, it's, it's a good bit, it's a good, it's a good solid bit. I actually have a video posted that says I have the highest mileage M5 in North America, if you know of an M5 that's got more than 221,000 on it, let me know. Uh, I haven't encountered one yet, so I'm assuming I'm number one, uh, which is definitely not a thing to brag about because this car could explode at any day. Um, but we're not there yet, and I will drive this thing until it breaks with me inside it. So M5 is going nowhere. I do have plans for a second car, uh, which is gonna be huge. It's still about a year and a half away. Hopefully we can grow to the channel to a bigger point at that point. Um, but it's a pretty big dream. It's a dream I've had for a while since I was a child. And uh, I think I gotta make it happen. I don't know. What do you guys think? So it's getting super dark now, as you can see, and this camera is awful at night. So I think I'm gonna call it there. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the continued support. If you want to see more of me in the M5, check me out on Instagram right here at Chris Manjuris. If you want to follow the clothing brand I mentioned, at Apparel by Enemy right here. All car clothing, JDM stuff. I think you guys are really going to love it. New drop. This is part of the new spring drop coming out. I'm announcing it on my Instagram tomorrow. I'll announce the drop date. So make sure you follow. Uh, actually, by the time this video is up, it'll probably be today or yesterday, depending on how quickly I edit it. Uh, but check that all out. 10% off when you sign up by email on the site. And the M5 is back. So spring is finally here and you'll be seeing a lot more of this car. It's about damn time. I have missed driving this. I drove an X5 for the winter. That's kind of my winter beater car. And so uh, I'm happy to have this girl back for the summer and the spring. Lots of content to come. Thank you guys so much for watching. And again, let me know what content you want to see, what mods you want to see come to the M5 next. Lots of big plans, new cars in the future, hopefully. Appreciate you guys so much. All the best, as always, my name's Chris. Thank you.